going on guys apathy here back with a brand new video today we're going to be talking about a new setting that was implemented not too long ago now i've been wanting to make a video on this but i haven't so today is today so if you did not know there's actually three target aim assist modes now and this was added like i said not too long ago we got the standard we got the legacy we got the precision and the focusing now they all do something specifically so in today's video we're going to be talking about which is the best one and which one the pro players are kind of using and then i'm gonna show you why okay guys to start off we are going to be using the standard aim assist now there's obviously different aim assist modes like i said so stay tuned and stay by and watch this whole video so you guys can see about all these aim assists and which one's kind of the best one to use you can see standard is pretty good but you don't get any insane like aim assist but you know you still get you know you still get a good amount now we're gonna switch to legacy now the thing about legacy it is highly recommended to be used legacy is basically a better version of aim assist of a standard aim assist you do get that little bit extra aim assist um pull basically when you're on people and shooting people you can notice the difference but it's so little and so small that it's, it's hard to really tell but i really like legacy because it kind of feels like standards but just slightly better because i don't i'm not the biggest fan of that super slow down aim assist pull so you can see it still feels really good i kind of stopped shooting this guy oh again oh 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 and watch i'm gonna aim at this guy you can see it has that kind of aim assist pull it's still good it's solid it's pretty sticky not bad now we are going to move to precision basically really quick it tells you what it says there strong aim slow down only kicks when aiming closer to target best for accurate players now even though this is better for accurate players like hey i'm a pro player so you know i should be pretty damn good with my shots even though it does say that i feel like this one feels kind of iffy i don't think i mean obviously if it is the best for accurate players but it doesn't matter if you're accurate or not you know it still feels kind of clunky kind of funky it's not it doesn't feel that good this is not one i would really use and i would not recommend um it, you don't feel the aim assist pull like as hard as you do with the other ones like i said you know that's definitely important when it comes to aim assist and for the last one we're going to be going to focusing now this one is a very interesting one this one gives you lord that's a lot of aim assist this one sucks you in man and this is a really interesting one because it's really hard to miss with focusing and this one helps a ton if you use all of them oh funny funny bot you are if you try out all the aim assist you can tell oh my god it's like so it feels like it's glued to my it's fluid it's like glued to the character like it's so hard to kind of get them out i feel like really force it out so the aim assist is really strong with focusing now obviously it focusing is kind of recommended kind of for the beginner players the newbier players and the problem is like dude you could beam with this right like your shots if they're not moving a lot like it's it's very easy you can feel like you, the, the gun when you're aiming at people sticks to them so hard and you can test this for yourself like it sticks on them very very good but the problem is when you have such a strong aim assist pull it can mess you up when you're trying to make adjustments or trying to kind of follow somebody but it, it feels focusing almost feels like it's shooting for you like it's that strong like that was like almost all headshots and i barely controlled the recoil there jesus so i would recommend focusing to basically a novice player someone who needs a little bit of help with the aim um focusing is also really good with sniping but that's pretty much it i would not use focusing at all other than if you're kind of a noob you still need to get your aim a little better precision it's a no-no it's a no-go for me don't use precision wouldn't really recommend it now legacy now this one is i think in the money guys this is like in my opinion the best aim assist it's either between this or standard uh like i said they're both very similar a lot of pro players not a lot of them i don't want to say a lot because that would be inaccurate but there are a couple that have been trying these settings out and trying to you know have a feel for them obviously playing on controller all these aim assist settings do help but legacy just feels really good man it feels like a slightly better version of standard but their own they're a little bit different in their own ways obviously like i said you can read the description what it says but we gotta we gotta go try this out let's go into the lobby right now and really see what we could do with this legacy let's see how our shots gonna be looking against actual people and not bots all right this game has started it's currently 35 to 8. i hate when they put me in the middle of a game but we're just oh my god we're just testing out the setting right now with the legacy that's a sniper i'm gonna have to back down here now legacy definitely kind of feels better than the standard i won't lie i still have to do a little bit of testing but if you i were to choose 
Oh, that's my brother Swerve. I don't even. Oh. So the funny thing is, in this game, standard aim assist is actually really good. So you don't. I'm not gonna, you know, deny the fact that standard isn't good at all because it, honestly, standard is very good. Oh, that's shotgun. But this legacy aim assist, like I would recommend either running standard or legacy uh, for these aim assist types. T try them out, you know. See what she wants you like kind of like better dude the aim is just like it just feels so strong sometimes but it doesn't really mess with your shot like you definitely can notice there's a little bit more aim assist pull right when you're shooting at people but it doesn't like so what some of the aim assist like what i was saying earlier was that some of the problems they had is that they they gave you too much aim assist right and that's an issue you don't really want to have with people with fast moving people sliding everywhere you want to be able to follow them and not really get messed up with that so this i think might be on the money guys this might be on the money nope not today mr shotgun man all right let's hit this let's hit this missile right here let's hit this missile right here come on i know you want some from big app look at you look at you spawn shield damn it you survived this time i know i got another one screw it let's go call it in we're winning too much okay okay this, oh 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 Damn. Wow. This guy's so dueled me, bro. Already. No, not today, Mr. Shocker. Oh, my. Oh, this is feeling nice, guys. Oh, yes. Legacy, man. If you haven't used Legacy yet, I highly recommend you try it out. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about it. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm going for the clip. I'm going for the clip. I'm going for the clip. He's not done yet. Oh my god. Legacy. Like, oh. Alright, he got me. He got me. <laughs> I have a veto. Literally stand by. Veto standing by. But that's not the point of the video. So, for the sake of the video, we won't use the veto. We won't use it for, it's for the sake of the video. But lordy, I want to use it pretty bad. I love using the veto. Super fun of, super fun of a kill streak. I almost killed a sniper, but damn! Oh, is that like a D a Type A sixty? Yep, beams. Oh, are we losing B? Hold on, let me take care of that brother. You know what I'm saying? Let me take care of that real quick. Bye bye. See you later. Oh, man, I love sim shots. So in BO4, I mean, I wasn't a fan of the like. The manual healing stim shot bullshit that we had to kind of do but like stim shot for like com like aggressive gameplay in call of duty is actually really fun this guy's in our spawn this guy's in our spawn they're all in our spawn my teammates don't know how to spawn kill man damn it but it's like i said something you really notice the legacy aim assist is basically a better standard in a way when it comes to extra aim assist aim assist pull that's a technically what it is now if you can control standard really good then obviously standard is amazing but um legacy is just as good in my opinion very very good this that you could use for you guys i think half my deaths this game have been from a sniper dude that is so irritating you know why because the snipers are just so <laughs> all right we have 10 points for we win oh my god i can't get away from them i can't get away from them i gotta hit him with a flank i'm so scared of you zero you're just a sniper beast you're just a sniper beast no you're one shot zero. Oh man they, i can't get away from them dude and that was a very slow ending there all right guys i hope you enjoyed today's video make sure to leave a like if you did subscribe to the channel it is very appreciated i hope you all have an amazing day a wonderful day a beautiful day and i'll see you guys in the next one peace out mucho love <laughs> i'm out